Hello guys, this is Ty, a.k.a. The Flip Man. What's a deal and what's not a deal? In order to know that you have a deal or not, you must know what the house will appraise for in excellent condition. In the business, we call that ARV, or simply put, after repair value. Again, it simply means once the house is fixed up, what will it appraise for? Once you know this, and obviously the price that the seller is willing to sell it for, normally you want the best price. This lets you know, using this formula, whether you have a deal or not. And this formula breaks down to 70% times ARV minus repairs minus your fee times, times two equals offer range. I'll get into breaking this down in just a second, but if you're on Instagram, simply hit watch more to see this complete video or learn more. If you're on Twitter, just select the link there in the tweet what's a deal, what's not a deal. Again, it all starts with knowing what the house will appraise for in excellent condition and comparing that to the price. I will break this formula down for you, but before I get into that, if you need proof of funds, offers that you're submitting to realtors, which you're going to need this for them to take you serious, go to realpof.com, submit your phone number, hit yes, I want the samples. Once you do that, it's going to take you over to this page and you can get actual sample of the proof of funds letter that's being used that you can edit, which I have a video here that shows you how to edit edit the, uh, the letter each time that you're going to use it to make your offers. And then you can also see a sample of the bank statement that will be included with each, of your, each one of your offers. They know you have the money and they have a verifiable number that a seller or a realtor that can call normally, mainly, as I said, realtors or agents. Now, if you actually want the service, you can go to Yes, I Want Real Proof of Funds. There's a one-time yearly fee that you can use it unlimited. As many times as you need, as many offers you want to place each year, each, each month, or each week that you can submit, and you'll receive an actual updated bank statement, access to it each month, along with the letter. So if you're interested in that, just go to realpof.com to start using proof of funds to get more of your offers accepted dealing with realtors. All right, now, if um, you want a copy of my actual contract that I use, just simply text the word contract to 313131. Don't text me. Text, use this as the phone number, 313131. Put contract in the subject and hit send. You'll receive a text message back. It'll take you directly where you can download the contract for free. You can take advantage of my live free webinar on Thursdays at 6 p.m. Eastern. That's Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern. You can sign up at flipmanlive.com. Just go there. You can sign up, get registered. You'll receive alerts letting you know or reminders that the uh, webinar is about to start. I'll be answering questions there. I'll go through actually the seller contract and the buyer contract and how you actually get paid, plus much, much more information, as I said, a question and answering period also. Now, um, if you want to access my 150 plus videos, you can go to flipman.net, hit this banner right here. It takes you directly to my YouTube channel. You can take advantage of my 100, where it's actually over 200 videos now that uh, you can take advantage of. I tell you everything you need to know about wholesaling houses just doesn't come with any coaching. But back to uh, what's a deal and what's not a deal. It all starts with this formula here. And uh, this formula is not just a, a lockdown number. It does more of saving you time that you don't waste time on properties that don't even have an, uh, an opportunity of uh, actually making you money. Um, but so I'm going to break it down for you right here. All right. So we're just going to use this as an example. So let me explain a couple of things for you. So let's go back to the actual formula here. The 70 percent is um what that is okay obviously you add 30 to it that's 100 percent the 30 percent 20 percent of that is assume the profit for the actual cash buyer that would take your wholesale deal off your hand the other 10 percent is just basically holding costs sometimes they can capitalize on more of that but those are the general number the times arv as i said that's the number of what the house will appraise for in excellent condition minus repairs now the actual repairs you have to understand how to figure it out. I teach my students how to do it. Uh, there's a simple website they can use to do that. They already have the course. If you don't have the new version of the course and you already signed up, just hit me up. I'll send you access. Obviously, no additional charge. And you can see the, the website that, I, that you can use online that's free 
It helps you determine repairs pretty much in any situation. The more you do it, the more comfortable you're going to be. Plus, you know, I would help you with that. But assuming you know what the repairs are, when we, when we get over here to the numbers, it'll make sense. Mine is your fee. Obviously, you know what you want to make. Um, you may say, I want to make 10 grand. Your time that times two, so that'll be 20,000. Now, of course, um, you have to be negotiating. Well, you don't have to do I am. Somebody said, I may, may want to make 10, but somebody comes back and it's seven. Uh, once we do the numbers, I'm, the offer is made. Hey, and they can close as soon as we can get a clear title. I'm taking the seven grand. You may hold out for the 10, but me, I'm taking the seven grand, move on to the next deal or whatever. You know, it's what's half a zero. Pigs get fed, hogs get slaughtered. Simply means don't be greedy. Move on to the next deal. So to break down the actual formula, all right, we're assuming it's a house and the ARV, meaning what, it, what is, it's fixed up, it's $100,000. All right, we've estimated that the repairs on this house is 15000 and we say your fee is it, that you want to make is 10000 All right, so first thing we do is say we say 100000 times 70%. Remember right here, 100000 times 70%, uh, which is the ARV. So that number is 70000 so we take the 70,000 and minus the repairs right here. So that leaves 55,000. All right, we take the 55,000 and minus your fee times two. So that's 20,000. So that leaves 35,000. So your offer range is 35,000. Now, that number is not a set in stone number. Normally, I'm going to offer less than that. If, that. if that comes back to be my number, I'm probably going to offer 25,000. All right, now I'm not expecting them to accept it. Uh, but my follow-up question, if they reject it, is, well, how close can you come to that amount? Your your entire objective, whenever you're trying to negotiate, is to get the seller at least amount. Now, there's a series of questions that you can actually get to that, but sometimes they won't give it to you, so you're forced into making an offer. And my rule of thumb, which I didn't invent this, I was taught this, and I'm teaching it to you now, is that. You need to be embarrassed about your offer. If you're not, normally you have an offer low enough. And now everybody's threshold is different on that, of course. But again, this formula is here to help you to put this, to at least get in the right mindset of where you need to be. If someone calls you and, and they don't even pass the first part of it, which is the 70%, it's normally, not, it's normally rare that you're going to get down to this part right here. Sometimes they may have a loan balance in place that won't allow it. Not that a loan prevents you from doing a deal. It's just if the loan balance is more than this number that you need, then there's no, it, there's nothing to do because most sellers are not going to come to closing with money. So again, uh, this formula is here to just help you understand or help save you time more than anything, obviously to make you money, but prevent you from wasting time on properties that have no chance of being a deal for because most people that call you, they're going to want way more than what you're willing to pay or what you need in order for it to be a deal for you. So I just wanted to break this down. And uh, just going back, if you need real proof of, if you need proof of funds, you can go to realpof.com, submit your, submit your phone number, hit yes, I want the samples. Then you can see an actual sample of the proof of funds letter along with the bank statement. I have an instructional video on how to fill it out. If you want to sign up, there's a one-time fee per year. You can use it unlimited. You have access to the updated uh, proof of funds letter each month along with the bank statement. And boom, start submitting offers to real. It's a little bit more complex than that. My students, I can break it down for you. But if you're not, you may already know you just need proof of funds. So that's an opportunity there. If you want to uh, access my 150-plus videos, just simply go to Flipman. Uh, it's actually over 200. Flipman.net. And that'll take you directly to my actual channel. If you want a free copy of my um, one-page contract, text contract to 313131. Don't text me. Text 313131. Contract send. Access the live webinar, flipmanlive.com. I'll see you on Thursday. And thanks. And I hope this video helped.